Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a strawberry banana trifle. So let's get started. First we're going to make a pound cake. Preheat the oven to 325 degrees. Then lightly grease a loaf pan and set it aside for now. Then in a small bowl, add in the cake flour or all-purpose works fine. Baking powder and salt and whisk them together until they're combined and set it aside for now. Then in a larger bowl, add in the softened butter and beat it with an electric mixer until it's smooth. Then add in about three quarters of the sugar and beat it in until it's combined. Then add in the rest of the sugar and cream the mixture for about three minutes on a medium to high speed. Then add in the eggs one at a time, mixing until it's fully incorporated before adding the next one. Then scrape down the sides and continue mixing it until it's combined. Then add in the vanilla extract and mix it in until it's combined. Add in the dry ingredients and mix them in by hand until it's just combined. Don't overmix the batter and don't use the electric mixer. Then pour the batter into the prepared pan and bake it in the oven for about an hour or until a toothpick inserted into the center comes out clean. When it's done, remove it from the oven and place it onto a cooling rack and let it cool completely. To make the pastry cream, in a medium saucepan, add in the sugar, cornstarch, and salt, and whisk them together until they're combined. Then add in the eggs and whole milk and whisk them in until they're combined. And place the saucepan onto the stove over a medium heat and heat it until it starts bubbling, whisking it occasionally. Then once it starts bubbling, whisk it constantly until it starts to boil. And once it is boiling, keep whisking it constantly over the heat for another minute so it really thickens. Then remove it from the heat. Add in the butter and vanilla extract and mix them in until they're combined and the butter has melted into the mixture. Then pour it into a separate small bowl Wrap it in plastic wrap. Make sure it's touching the surface of the pastry cream to prevent a skin from forming. And place it into the fridge for at least two hours until it's well chilled. When the pastry cream is well chilled, you can proceed to this next step. Don't prepare this part ahead of time. So in a medium bowl, add in the heavy cream and a little sugar and whip it until it forms a soft peaks. Try not to whip it to stiff peaks. Set aside one and a half cups of the whipped cream for topping the trifle. Then take the pastry cream out of the fridge and mix it well to help loosen it up. Then add a scoop of the whipped cream into the pastry cream to help lighten it. Then add it into the rest of the whipped cream and fold it in gently until it's combined. Then wash the strawberries 
and cut off the green part and then cut them into thin slices then to garnish the trifle later take one more strawberry and thinly slice it not cutting all the way through then for the bananas cut them into thin slices then add some lemon juice onto them and gently toss them to help keep them from turning brown. And also cut up the pound cake into slices. Now to assemble the trifle, take a trifle dish and add some of the pound cake onto the bottom, breaking it up as you add it. Then add some of the sliced strawberries and bananas. Make sure it's reaching the edge so you can see the layers from the outside. Then add about half of the whipped pastry cream. Spread it out until it's even. And repeat the layering process until you reach the top. Then top it with the reserved whipped cream from earlier. And then fan out the thinly sliced strawberry and add it on top. Then add some sliced bananas all around it. And add more sliced strawberries around the bananas. Then take a slice of the pound cake and crumble it up. Then sprinkle it on top for the finishing touch. And that's how to make a strawberry banana trifle. I hope you enjoyed this video and I have so many more on my channel, so be sure to check them out and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.